Good morning. It's Thursday and it's time for our daily devotion. Uh, today we're looking at uh, John chapter 3 verses 1 to 21, so most of the chapter. Uh, a familiar passage for many uh, followers of Jesus containing uh, two verses, you must be born again and for God so loved the world that. Uh, and uh, But even though it's so familiar, let's listen to it with uh, as much freshness as we can. Uh, I'll just go right in and read it. Now, there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, Hey, how can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus said, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive your testimony, our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that God gave his only Son, so that who, everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. If you uh, watched the devotion yesterday or read the passage, you'll, the, it's similar. Romans 8 was the, was, was the passage yesterday. There's this, okay, rules are, rules are fine, uh, but what we really need is to be different through Christ, through the Spirit of God. Uh, and that is, I mean, that's the ticket. That's, that's how we be the people that God wants us to be. Uh, not, through, not through following rules. Uh, not through trying to avoid rules, not through hiding our deeds, uh, but through giving ourselves over, starting with faith in Jesus uh, as Savior and, and, and continuing turning our life over to him more and more every day. Right? So uh, the song that I found for today is uh, in, uh, is, uh, is in uh, Voices Together, uh, Womb of Life and Source of Being. Uh, and so it, it gets at this idea that, that what we need is to be born of the Spirit. What we need is God moving in us and through us, uh, camping out inside of us. Uh, it goes like this. Ba, ba, ba. Womb of life and source of being, home of every restless heart. In your arms the world's awake, and you have loved us from the start. We, your children, gather round you at the table you prepare, sharing stories, tears, and laughter. We are nurtured by your care. Word in flesh, our brother Jesus, born to bring a second birth. You have come to stand beside us, knowing weakness, knowing earth. Priest who shares our human struggles, life of life and death of death, 
Risen Christ, come stand among us, send the Spirit by your breath. Brooding Spirit, move among us, be our partner, be our friend. When our memory fails, remind us whose we are, what we intend. Labor with us, aid the birthing of the new world yet to be. Free of servant, Lord and Master, free for love and unity. Mother, brother, holy partner, Father, Spirit, only Son. We would praise your name forever, one in three and three in one. We would share your life, your passion, share your word of world made new, ever singing, ever praising, one with all and one with you. Amen. I'm sorry, I might have gotten one of those lines a little wonky a couple of times, but I think you get the idea. Have a good day.